Uh, uh, hello, I'm back for Beep another up. tutorial on how to use Luna Translator. Yippee! This time, uh, last Beep time up. I discussed how to use the, uh, hold on. I discussed how to use the text hook feature of, of, uh, Luna Translator. And it, it is pretty simple. It's pretty simple. Uh, I made a video about it, so you can go check that out. Uh, but right now we're going to talk about the OCR feature. So let's uh, let's get started, right? So again, just download it from the Luna uh, Translator GitHub, right? Extract it. Make sure your like antivirus is down and all that. You know how it is, right? They, they, they've got the link right there, github.com, you know how it be. Anyway, so when you're in, right, it's usually automatically going to be checked on hook, right? You want to check off OCR, and then first we're going to head into the OCR settings, right? Because there's a bunch of OCRs here, I usually just stick with the local one, right? If you need any other resources for the OCR language packs, they're here, I already have it installed. However, so, uh, I have some of the, like, settings already done up for me, just from my testing. So, if your visual novel revolves around, like, vertical stuff, you would click that, right? This doesn't really matter at the moment, right? It just means, like, if it's, like, one line and then a second line... Like, they'll be smushed into, like, the same line, you know? So if it's, like, someone writing so, and then line break, blah, 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 it would show separate things. So I would have that checked off, personally. And now, OCR pre-processing, it just means how your computer is going to interpret the um, stuff captured by the OCR itself. For the game, I testing on right now, uh, Friendly Lab, I would just turn that to grayscale, just because, I mean, the whole fucking game's grayscale, so it's kind of, um, a little better for that, so you don't really need to fiddle around with many of these settings, however, I would put on Analysis Image Update plus Periodic Execution, just because, um, just because um, I found that while I was playing around with it, the OCR, it tends to not want to pick up stuff when it's on just announce image update, right? Since it really only picks up those, um, those like full phrases, right? And doesn't really pick up like the ah and oh and uh kind of phrases, right? That's just kind of what I found. So you want to have your execution cycle kind of set down a bit lower. I had it on 2.6. I think I'll leave it at 2, right? And other than that, like most of these settings you don't really need to touch, including multi-region mode. Uh, that'll come up in just a moment. So let me just open up the game. Tenonology. Friendly Lab, by the way, is also an amazing game that you definitely should play, dude. Anyway, so we're gonna click the big old button up there that says start. I'm gonna get into the game. This is just all flavor text. Welcome, experimenter. Blah, 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 blah. I don't care. Blah, 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 blah. Do 10 experiments. Thank you, right? So when you get in, right? You hear that fuzz? You hear that fuzz? All right, baby, right? Clink. Hi Nishi. Hi Higashi. Hi boys. Anyway. Okay, you see? These are where our text boxes are. Let me get to place with some dialogue. Hold on. Uh, they're all confused and shit. There we go. So now what we're gonna do is come down and click this button. And what we're gonna do is quickly make a little bounding box there. And that should start translating. Also, another thing that you'd want to do is go here, OCR range box color, and change that to something that's uh, that would contrast well with the visual novel you're playing. Like it's usually set to black, but I have it set to red right now. And other than that, just like 
Yeah, other than that, you don't really need to change any of the other settings here, right? So, just leave them and you'll be fine, you know? So, there you go. I'll change my bounding box again, just so that it encompasses both of their dialogues. Oh, hold on. Oh, shit. <laughs> you see, this is what I mean about the periodic execution thing, right? It doesn't like updating the strings, right? Yeah, hold on. Yeah, there you go. Felt like my voice wasn't coming out that well. Again, it's an OCR, so again, you might want to change up some of the settings, right? Like, I think I had this on 10, but I had to change it to 4, right? So obviously, just like experiment with it for the first like little part of your game, but yeah. Your face will pierce my sexuality! Thank you, um, Nishi, for the... For for the great um commentary. Anyway, uh yeah, that that's basically how you use VN OCR. Also, make sure that this um option is checked. By the way, this just basically tells the um all the screens and stuff that a uh, VN OCR has. It's just uh or not fuck not VN OCR, but uh that Luna has to stay on top, right? Like the pin option, I guess. I don't fucking know. But make sure the sky is on so that this doesn't happen and everything People. goes in the background, you know? Although you could just run it like this, you know? That could work, but uh, I, I wouldn't recommend it personally. But anyway, that that's all I have to say. Ta -da! Uh, see you guys later. Bye.